Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to downtown Auckland for Red Bull Drift Shifters. This is high octane pinball on the waterfront. <laughs> The concept behind Drift Shifters was to eliminate any human error, any politics that comes with any judge sport. So as a driver, you are scored exactly on where you're placing the car, how fast you're going and how many degrees of angle you can throw into these corners. This year we have Key Street, much longer venue, nearly 300 metres long. Yeah, a lot more dynamic, it's wider, there's traffic islands through it. We have much higher speeds this year, it's going to be much bigger angles, many more obstacles, more combos, it's just going to be a whole lot more dynamic. We had some of the most amazing drivers coming from all around the world. The seven internationals, which is just massive. The vibe here in Auckland this morning is unreal. You know, as a driver, to be able to come here and have something like this that's so different that we compete in is, is just awesome. So I think a lot of guys are just excited and, and want to get out and just start driving this thing. The caliber of the drivers here is phenomenal. You know, you got the best guys from the USA, Japan, and all around New Zealand, you know. So every single one of us can do whatever we want with a car. So it's going to be probably one of the best shows you'll ever be able to witness. Well, we've got 16 drivers who are about to get stuck into qualifying. So you have eight drivers in the semis, down to four, down to two, and then we crown our winner. It's really, really tight. We've been watching a couple of runs, and you've got to get close to get the points, so that's why you see the bumpers coming off every car. So it'll stay like that for the rest of the day. It'll probably get worse, because people will push harder. Oh, it's so tight. It's such an adrenaline rush, you know? That's what we love about this sport. Oh, everyone's definitely uh, out there to prove a point, you know? There's been a lot of carnage. The super tricky course out there is real tight. Uh, we're using the RX-8 now, the first practice run actually in it. We went out and got a 3.8 million, which uh, qualified us in second spot. So, um, yeah, now we're moving on through. I think we're slowly bringing this course out. The more time you have out on track, the better it goes. Yeah, I feel like our score keeps going up. We're kind of figuring out what works and where to aim for and, and like where the combos are. I mean, energy levels are through the roof right now. Everybody's adrenaline is going. Crowd being right on the sidelines is so cool. You just you see people's faces smiling and cheering when they're driving by and, and doing donuts around a ballard. It's just it's really cool setup and uh, great for the fans. Here we go, Matt Powers. Seven seconds left. Remember, Mike just was a bit outside. Is he going to bring it in? And he oh! serves it. Holy cow! Four point one. I'm in first right now, so hopefully I stay there. And Mad Mike's right there too, though, so uh, I'm gonna have to step it up next round for sure. It is set up for a massive battle in the semi-finals. Bang a dance oh, Look at that under the Memphis meltdown. You see that big ice cream bar, and he took a fight out of it. Here we go, Chris. The Force Forsberg is he gonna get on the podium? Sounds like we got a good score. I missed the last 500, but I think 3.5 might hold us into the finals. Great angle through the cue box as he sits into the GoPro wall ride. GoPro wall. I don't know if he's gonna make it. Six, five, four. Does he get it in? And he does. Oh! Sitting in second at the moment. We have uh, Matt Powers. He can still knock me out of the finals. So fingers crossed. Here we go, a little bit of butt rock there. David Lee, Roth's pants. Oh, he hasn't got the slide on that. Matt Powers looks like he might be struggling here. Looks like Powers will not repeat in 2014, but that means Matt Michael Dent is in the finals. Very excited to be in the finals, especially against the creator of this sport. There's no one else I'd rather be running out there with for one and two than him. Yeah, this is it. Mad Mike with Dad is in it to win it. His eyes are so wide. He tears through the cue box and actually shoved a hand out of the window. Memphis meltdown sensor goes as he powers into the wall ride. Go for a wall. This is a huge score for the Aucklander as he tears back down through the cue box into the Achilles Undertaker. He's still got 35 seconds. The tires are squealing like a sunburned pig. Over 12 seconds left, brings it on home. Oh! He's got four million. Chris Forsberg 
with the last run of Red Bull Drift Shifters here on the waterfront in downtown Auckland. He's a proven competitor who can handle the pressure as he tears down under the Memphis Meltdown, flicks it into the GoPro wall ride and tucks the rear end of the car onto those barriers. He, he needed to come out of there with a million. The multipliers bumped it to two million, but the parking garage is never going to give it. <laughs> you can see how much it means to him there. It was a tough battle, but I was so stoked to have such an awesome event, be able to bring it here to home city and be able to put something like this together and prove to everyone that we can do something like this and showcase the precision and how professional the sport of drifting. Yeah, it's just a surreal moment right now.